If you've been looking to get a new bed chair recently and more specifically been looking at the indulgence range from Nash, then this is the video you want to watch if you're not quite sure which one to go for. Because today we have the compact, SS3 standard, SS3 wide, SS4 standard and SS4 wide. The only one we don't have with us today is the Emperor, but that's mainly because we didn't have a forklift to hand. Let's jump into it. So we'll start off with the weights. As you can see, I've got all of them around me. The, the row I'm sat on, these are the SS3s. Behind me are the SS4s. And to my left is the Compact. Starting off with the Compact, this is only available as a four season sleeping system, which comes in at 9.5 kilos. Moving on to the SS3, if you bought this as a standard uh, four season, that comes in at 11.7 kilos. And the SS3 four season wide comes in at 12.8 kilos. Moving on to behind me, the SS4s. If you bought a four season one, the SS4 standard size comes in at 12 kilos and the SS4 wide will come in at 13.1. Moving on to the five season weights, as I've already mentioned, the compact isn't available as a five season, it's just a four. So the SS3 five season comes in at 12.7 kilos. The SS3 wide comes in at 14.2 and the SS4 standard comes in at 13 kilos dead and the SS4 wide comes in at 14 and a half kilos. And as I've already said, the Emperor version, which we don't have with us today, comes in at 20 kilos. So that's the weights, but what about the sizes? Starting off with the compact, the smallest of the bunch at 191 centimeters long and 75 centimeters wide. So probably more specific for the smaller angler. I don't think I'd fit in it too well, but I'll show you a bit more uh, size reference in a second with the drone from above, just to give you a bit more of an idea of the actual space that these bed chairs give you. Moving on to the SS3 standard and the SS4 standard, they come in at 212 centimeters long by 83 centimeters wide. And then the SS3 wide and the SS4 wide, same length at 212 centimeters, but they're 96 centimeters wide, so just under a meter. Then moving on to the Emperor, the biggest one of the lot, still 212 centimeters long but a one meter 15 centimeters wide is a bit of a beast so that's a lot of stats for you to digest but here's what it actually looks like in real world terms so firstly putting it into the boot of my car from the compact to the medium to the wide as you can see the wide pretty much fills the full boot of my estate car and the compact plenty of space and then also moving over to the bivvy sticking them in there the compact there was room at the head and foot end in my uh, standard one man the standard bed chair fit in pretty much as you'd expect and then the wide was kind of on the limits of uh, putting it in a one man I probably wouldn't suggest you put it in a, a lower or smaller size one man like I've got it was just a bit too big especially when fully elevated and if you're going for the SS4 wide with the higher uh, elevation of course you want a bit more headroom so you're probably not going to be getting it for a smaller bivvy so that is how it looks in fishing and uh, transportation terms. Moving on to the heights now the compact course being the smallest one is still the shortest of them all as well and that comes in at between 25 on its lowest setting up to 33 centimeters on its max then we've got the ss3s these come in at 32 centimeters on its lowest all the way up to 40 centimeters and as you can see the one i'm leaning on the ss4s standard wide and emperor all come in between th uh, 38 centimeters up to 51 centimeters and uh, well i'm going to input some footage here of uh, myself and luke sitting on this and as you can see Luke's a bit shorter than me, his legs are swinging around slightly more than mine as well. So if you like a taller bed chair, you've got a big enough bivvy that one fits in, then you wanna go for one of the SS4s. So it gives you that elevation. If you're a taller person, doesn't like slumping down into a bed chair, go for the bigger. But if you've got a standard size one man, which is what I'd say I have, this was a bit too tall for in there. So I'd stick with the SS3 if height is an issue. Remember, if you like this sort of content, then do make sure you subscribe to us and ring the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for regular updates. Before we move on to the actual comforts of these bed chairs, it's worth noting just how sturdy and strong they are. I personally have owned indulgence bed chairs for the last, I don't know, five, six years. Never had any issues with anything bending, anything breaking. Maybe the odd bit of paint flaking off where it's just been used and abused so much, but nothing has ever sagged or given on me. To start off with, so obviously the frame is nice and strong. All of the bed chairs feature the same push lock system on the adjustable feet like so. So nice and easy to make your bed chair level. You've got two sets of double feet around the, the main part of the bed chair, which is where most of the strain is going to be. On the compact and the SS3 models, you've then got another adjustable leg at the head end. And on the SS4s, you've then got another adjustable leg down at the feet end. Full elasticity all around the um, outside. You've got the lumbar support in the middle, which is 
can be adjusted to your needs. At the moment, it's just as it comes. But if you wanted to tighten that up, all you've got to do is pull the elastic tight and you saw it, then tie off another knot and you're done. Either side, you've got these little pouches or pockets so you can put your keys, your receiver, anything like that in there. Depending on which side you have your bed chair facing, there's one on either side. The one you don't use, or if you never use them, you can just tuck them in. There's Velcro under there, keeps them in place. At the top end, you've also got this pouch for a power pack. Same on all the models, stick a power pack in there so it's off the ground, it's away from any risk of any water getting on it. Say if you didn't have a ground sheet and it rained and water came through, all covered, no electrics being uh, exposed to water. Little lead on that as well, which then comes out on the top end, on the head end, so you can then plug your phone in straight into here. Everything's out of the way, nice, neat and tidy. So that is pretty much the underside of all these bed chairs wrapped up. Flipping back over onto the top side, we'll talk about the actual comfort and the levels of protection that you get. So I'm going to talk with the compact one to start with, just because it's easiest to move around because it weighs the least. All the mattresses fully removed like so. You've got Velcro strips all over them, so you can completely remove that down to bare, bone, bare bones of just the frame. So if you wanted in the wee, uh, summer months, just have something really simple like that to sleep on, you can. But of course, I don't think anyone really would because the mattress is super comfortable. Nice thick foam padding in the mattress itself. We just unzip the top. All of it is really, really thick padding, so it's not skimping anywhere. Nice and comfortable, fleece lined as well. So it's smooth to touch, nice and warm, but it's not fleece lined all the way around. If you move around to the actual cover itself, this is nylon covered. Idea of that, because if any of you have ever owned a sleeping bag which is all fleece lined, you get caught up in it. You try and move around, you end up waking up all scrunched up with no room because you're getting stuck to the um, fleece. So the idea of having the nylon on the top is so that you don't get caught up in that. It's still very, very warm. Believe me, I own an indulgence bed chair and warmth is never an issue. Last night it got down to minus two where we are and it was still nice and warm. That's also thanks to the baffles you've got on the inside of the bed chair. This obviously goes around your side. If any drafts were to get into the bed chair, this traps the heat between you and the outside of the bed chair, stops any kind of drafts. But on the outside of the bed chair as well, as you can see here, you've also got these little skirts, which also is draft exclusion, stops anything from coming through the zips. So that is pretty much everything you need to know about the protection you get from the four season. But if I switch over to the one that I'm sat on or the ones behind me, it's a little bit more protection. Now moving over to the five season protection. Now, as I've already said, the compact only comes as a four season. So if you want a bit more protection during the winter months, then you want to go for a five season. Or even if you want a bed chair that lasts all through the year, you may want to go for a five season because this can be stripped down to uh, something a bit more suited to the summer. As you see at the head end here, we've got a Velcro. If I undo that, it reveals this top section. Now this is what converts it from a four season to a five season. If I unzip that all the way down, that can be fully removed, unvelcroed at the bottom and taken completely off. You're then left with, if I velcro this back up, a four season. So you don't have to have this on all the way through the year, but you can stick it on for this time of year when it's getting a lot colder. Of course, all of this can still be removed. So you're down to just the mattress, same as the other one. And uh, that way you just have even less protection. If you want to come in the uh, summer months and don't need anything on top or you just want bare minimum, you can do so. I'll move on to some accessories you can get from all this range in a little bit. But uh, that is everything you need to know about the five season, just amping up your protection for the colder weather. And moving on to accessories, there's a few to choose from and all of which can be purchased to match the bed chair that you go for. So today I've got a few of me which are going to match up with the compact system. Starting off with what you can see on top. This is the winter shroud. It has a few benefits to start with. Being winter shroud, it's an extra element of warmth, extra layer to cover you during the winter months. An extra pocket of air between layers, it's going to keep you nice and toasty. But also it can be used as of just a sheet on its own during the summer months. If you don't want all the bed chair, you just want something light to go over you, then it's perfect for that as well. So just extra element of protection. If I pull the uh, top back, everything's buckled up at the moment, you'll then see we have the indulgence pillow. Looks nice and beefy, that's because it is. It can also be used two ways. You've got more of a nylon side on the bottom for the warmer months, and you've got fleece lined on the top. It does sink down nicely, so it looks quite bulky. You think mm, maybe that's a bit too big. That's what I thought when I first saw it, but it's nice and squishy, which is how you want a uh, pillow to be squishy. If I flip that over, 
Underneath, we've got another item, which is a mattress protector or a mattress topper, a sheet. So this again is like a nylon sort of finish. So if you didn't like having the fleece underneath you and you prefer to have the nylon top and bottom, fit this on, toggles all the way around, which secures it in place. It also just protects the mattress. So um, if you get a bit excited when you have a run in the night, it's not gonna stain your mattress. Uh, so you're covered with that. So that's a few of the different items you can get for each of the uh, bed chair and also, what I'm sitting back on, this is the bed buddy. Fully adjustable. You've got a front lip on the front leg which goes over the front of the bed chair. And at the back, if I fold this down, you've got fully adjustable legs. If I unbuckle these clips, you can fully adjust it. So whether you've got the compact, the standard, the wide or the emperor, push that back in, you can adjust it, lock it back off and it'll fit over your bed chair. Once it's on the bed chair, folds out, you've got adjustable straps here to adjust how far forward it's reclined or back or forward. So fully adjustable, it just makes sure that uh, if you don't want to be hunched over the whole time on your bed chair, you've got something that will support your back and make your sessions much more comfortable. Make all your sessions much more indulgent. Cheesy. It was cheesy, but I had to get it in there. <laughs> Lastly, the prices. So if you've picked your one from the bunch and now you want to know how much they cost, this is how much each one will set you back as they stand. So without all the accessories on, of course. The compact comes in at $309.99. Then you've got the SS3 standard, which is $399.99. Then we've got the SS3 wide, which comes in at 42499, which is the same price as the SS4 standard at 42499. Then we've got the SS4 wide, which is 44999. And last but no means least, the Emperor comes in at 54999. And finishing off with the accessories. The bed buddy, which I'm sat on, comes in at 4499. Then you've got the winter shroud that comes in at 8999. The pillow underneath, 3999 and the mattress protector or the sheet comes in at $16.99. So there we go, your complete guide to this set of bed chairs from the compact to the SS3s to the SS4s. So whether you're Luke sized, man sized or oversized, there's a bed chair that will suit you. And of course you've got all the accessories to go with those. You can really customize this to exactly how you want. And talking personally from someone that uses indulgence bed chairs, I have not had a better night's sleep on the bank since I've owned one. So for any more information, please head over to the Nash website. Remember to subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads from us. And follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for regular updates. See you again soon.